finally, the first ever Geography Now video about the smallest country in South America. Welcome to CERN. It's time to learn Geography Now! Hi, I am your host for this Geography Now video. Today we're talking about Suriname, a land of bauxite and home to beautiful water lilies and orchids. First off, we'll be talking about the physical land features and vegetation of Suriname. There are two main geographical regions, the coastal lowlands of the north and the tropical rainforest and savanna of the south. There are small mountain ranges along the fertile lands, including the Han and the Fan Asfanweg. But the highest mountain is the Juliana Top, which is 286 kilometers above sea level. One of the biggest reservoir lakes is right here in Suriname. Can you believe that? It is called the W.J. von Blomenstein Lake, and it is created by the, by the river dam. This gives a lot of hydropower to many of Suriname's main industries. Did you know that about 14% of the country is distributed with national parks and nature reservoirs? Lastly, the most significant rivers here in Suriname are the Suriname, Kapanama, Maravena, and Saramaka River. The Suriname River is at least 480 kilometers long. Wow. Next up, we have some famous and popular figures. These include Galeran Seydorov, um, Anton de Kom, Tyrone Spong, Aaron Winter, Leticia Frisda, Damaru, Faraisa Juman Bax, um, Paul Somarjo, my dad, and Johan Adolf Penger, Pengo. Also, Cynthia McLeod and Julius Cesar de Miranda. Next, let's talk about religion. So, Christianity is the predominant religion in Suriname with a percentage of 38.8% and this was done by census in 2012. Islam and Hinduism are second and third place with 13.9% and 22.3%. Um, Other religions are um, Vinti and uh, weird religions and that makes up 2.6 percent and the rest 7.5 um, identify with no religion fun fact on Kaiserstrat the largest mosque in the entire Caribbean is built right next to a synagogue although the synagogue is um, was built in the 1800s but this just symbolizes the harmony between all religions and little to no racism in Suriname. This explains the diverse e ethnic groups Cern that Suriname means people um, get along with each other and respect each other. Wait, now let's discuss the economy of Suriname. So after the 1990s, Suriname became more stable and less dependent on the financial aid of the Dutch. And as I mentioned earlier, bauxite is the is an al aluminium ore, which is the strongest source of rev revenue for Suriname, along with um, the discovery of gold and oil. Rice and bananas together make up three-fourths of Suriname agriculture. Again, the boxy industry um, accounts for 15% of the GDP and 70% of export earnings up to 2016. Suriname's main trading partners are the U.S., um, Caribbean countries, mostly uh, Trini Trinidad and Tobago, the Netherlands, and Canada. So, a little history here. After the um government took power in 1996, they ended the structural adjustment program. This led to drastic economic growth decreasing in the following years. The government tried solving this problem with monetary expansion, but unfortunately, this only made it worse and resulted in an extreme increase of inflation to this day. By the way, in Suriname, it takes the longest time ever to register a business in practically any other country in the world. 